Welcome back to our Flash tutorial. In this video, we're going to see how to combine data from multiple tables with the showing clause of SQL. Uh, I have a slightly modified example 10 to show you how we can display the country from a given author. If you remember from our previous videos, we saw that an author kept a reference of the country. So that's the way we combine the two tables. In this case, what I have done is I have also queried the country ID of, a, of the author and I'm including that country inside also the template in order to show it in, in the page. If, uh, if, you could, if we reload this site, you will see that the country is included there as an integer. It's basically the ID of the represented country. But what we want to do is display the actual name of the country. So what we're going to do is join and combine the two tables. So for example, if the country with ID 1 is the United States, we will want to display the United States instead of just the number 1. So let's see how this join works. The first thing I'm going to do is command our example 10 and shamp strike to the example 12. So we are going to take a look at the code. If you check closely, the only thing that has changed here in this particular example is the SQL query that we're writing. The, the other code pretty much remains the same. We are fetching all the results from the database and then we're rendering a template with those results. So let's take a look at the template and we see that it's pretty common or pretty similar to what we had before. So if I reload the page, we're going to see that now we can see the countries and the names of the countries of each one of these authors. So again, uh, the trick relies on the SQL statement that we are writing. We are showing the table author with the table country and we're indicating in that relationship where to combine the data. Basically, the country ID field in the authors table combines with the ID field from the country table. What we want to show you here is that Flask itself, it's a really powerful framework, but the features we have done here are all related to either Python or in this case, SQL. So to construct a good web application, you are not just supposed to learn about Flask, but also uh, about special topics like in this case, databases, databases sorry, and SQL.